you know, Chilton is just full of very gracious, giving people, and I feel like we're just a piece, a piece of that puzzle. In the 12 years since he passed away, some amazing things have taken place in the Calumet County community. And this thanks to the family of Matt Colby, who made it their mission to honor his legacy. Tonight in small towns, Jeff Alexander takes us to Chilton, soon to be home to a very special playground. At Nenig Park in Chilton, Matt Colby's memory and the impact he made in his hometown are present. When I think about things now, totally grateful and blessed that God granted us Matt as our firstborn. Um, we were so blessed by his unconditional love and he gave us a million times more than we could have ever given him. I was blessed for 23 years to be his dad. Born with Down syndrome in 1987, Matt faced a number of health challenges during his childhood. Despite that, he lived every day full of laughter and joy and a lively spirit that quickly made him an inspiration around town. You know, and it's uh, no matter your ability, your background, um, where you came from, um, you know, it's, it's all about accepting people for who they are, and that's what Matt was all about, is just loving someone for who they were. He was such a presence in school that you knew who he was, and he just, you'd see him in the hallway, and he'd smile at you, and it'd make your whole day. Of all his joys, one of Matt's greatest was baseball. He served as manager for all the Little League teams in Shelton, um, up and through the high school varsity level. He was the kid in the dugout, and coaches wanted him there because he broke the tension for the kids. You know, he just, he made the game fun. Um, he could make the players, pick the players up after having a bad play. I mean, he just had that personality about him. And Matt loved everyone, even the other team. One time too, they were, uh, <laughs> we were up at the ballpark, you know, and we couldn't find Matt. Well, he was sitting with another team eating, eating an ice cream and uh, they had bribed him to be their manager. <laughs> in 2011, the Colby family and the community lost their shining light. When he passed, we knew that that was a legacy that we, we had to, to carry on. With donations received at his funeral, the Colby started a memorial fund with the goal of supporting charities that foster beliefs important to Matt, like acceptance and inclusion. We do a lot of things behind the scenes. Um, like we've put new tires on cars for people that are driving to chemotherapy, we filled freezers, we paid off electric bills, we've stocked food shelves, um, we've ensured that all kids get Christmas gifts in Chilton. The fund has also awarded 40 scholarships to local high school seniors, an annual softball and baseball tournament, which includes a Field of Dreams game for those with disabilities, is one of many fundraisers in Matt's honor. You know done our fair share of grilling up brats and uh, you know auctioning off uh, meat raffle prizes and different things um, and uh, and it's been it's been amazing to see the community rally behind um, a cause like this. Two years ago Matt's family took a leap of faith launching the Matt Colby Memorial Foundation the mission to build a five hundred and seventy thousand dollar all-inclusive playground in Chilton to date, the family has raised nearly 500,000. City leaders are simply blown away. With their passion that they had to get it done and the, the resources they had and how they did their fundraising throughout the city, it was uh, just amazing. This fall, construction begins on the Matt Colby all-inclusive playground at Nenig Park, of course, where Matt had so much fun. Matt was so accepted in, the ch in Chilton. Like, we are so blessed to have raised him here. The community really embraced who he was as a person and allowed him to be who he was. He was an amazing, you know, loving, accepting um, person that uh, that taught us a ton about life and and the playground itself and what it represents embodies truly how Matt lived his life. And Luke can't wait to take his son, Henry Matthew, to play at the park. So looking forward to the day where he'll be able to be on that playground too, you know, and it's, I, I can't wait to tell him stories about his Uncle Matt, you know, and, uh, and that's going to, that's going to be a special moment for me. In Chilton with photojournalist Michael Bergman, 
I'm Jeff Alexander for Small Towns. Uncle Matt, a pretty special young man. He got me again this week. <laughs> what a sweet story, and it's so wonderful that you're remembering Matt in that way. It's Absolutely. just beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> you know, next week at Small Towns, Jeff takes a trip to Pembine to meet the cookie lady of the Northwoods. I know there's more Small Towns <laughs> ideas out there that will make me cry. So mail them to Jeff. <laughs> Email them at smalltowns at wbay.com.